Hey everybody, this is Roblox. Welcome back to the Defense Channel. Today we're going to be diving into a story of a truly unique warship, a vessel that not only had a long and varied career, but ultimately pioneered revolutionary new capabilities for the U.S. Navy. I'm talking about the USS Ponce, or LPD-15. She wasn't just your typical destroyer or an aircraft carrier. This was an amphibious transport dock, and her journey is one of incredible adaptability and ingenuity. So let's get right on into it. The Austin-class amphibious transport dock ships were 570 feet long and displaced over 16,000 tons at full load. They could make 20 knots and carried a crew of around 487 enlisted men and 29 officers. They were armed with crew cert 50 caliber machine guns, two 25mm Mark 38 guns, Phalanx Sea Whiz, and later, during the Ponce's time as a testing platform, the Mark 38 Mod 2 laser weapon system. Commissioned in 1971, the USS Ponce was one of five Austin-class amphibious transport docks. These ships are designed to transport and land Marines, their vehicles, and supplies on hostile shores. For the first few decades of her career, the Ponce played her designated role. She participated in numerous exercises and deployments around the world, from the Mediterranean to the Caribbean, acting as a key component in naval power projection. She carried hundreds of Marines, along with their tanks, landing craft, and helicopters, ready to respond to any crisis. This ship was a true workhorse of the U.S. fleet. The Ponce's capabilities were diverse. She could launch and recover helicopters, deploy landing craft from her well deck, and act as a command and control platform. She was a vital part of the Navy's amphibious readiness capability. She was always on call and ready to get the Marines landed ashore and where they needed to be. Ponce was no stranger to real-world events either. She played a role in operations during the Persian Gulf War and provided crucial support in humanitarian missions following Hurricane Katrina, highlighting the flexibility of an amphibious transport dock. But the story of the USS Ponce doesn't end there. The USS Ponce was a ship that was originally slated for decommissioning, but was instead selected to be refitted as a test platform for the afloat forward staging base concept. This was a precursor to the Lewis B. Polar class afloat forward staging base ships we see active in the U.S. Navy today. The afloat forward staging base concept involved utilizing a vessel as a platform for military operations or humanitarian aid. The ship was chosen for this task in response to requests from United States Central Command. In its new role, the USS Ponce was redesigned to support mine countermeasures operations and international maritime command and control missions. It was outfitted with a joint Navy and military seal of command crew consisting of both active duty and civilian sailors. The ship also conducted an operational demonstration of the Office of Naval Research sponsored laser weapon system while deployed to the Arabian Gulf. Laser weapon system was a high energy solid state laser designed to engage small boats and drones. The Ponce, now dubbed the experimental test bed, spent the next five years testing and refining this game changing technology. This marked an incredible shift in the ship's purpose, making her a pioneer of modern naval warfare. Ponce went from a troop transport to a cutting-edge technology demonstrator. That's the kind of adaptability that made the ship so unique. Her sailors had to quickly adapt to this new technology, learning everything from laser safety to weapon engagement procedures. This became the first generation of laser weapon operators in the U.S. Navy. The Ponce's career is a testament to her versatility. She began as a vital component of amphibious operations and ended her career as the Navy's first laser weapons test bed. Her journey shows how adaptability can extend the life of even the most well-used platform. She was truly a ship that kept up with the times and even surpassing them near the end. The USS Ponce was finally decommissioned in 2017, having served for 46 years and playing a crucial role in both traditional and cutting edge naval operations. Her story is a powerful reminder of the ingenuity of naval engineering and the dedication of the men and women who sailed her. The legacy of the USS Ponce LPD-15 will live on in the advancements that she helped pioneer. Thanks for watching the Defense Channel. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.